Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves, and today's gonna be another shave. Uh, doing another uh, straight razor shave with a edge test. Uh, I think this is the one that I used last shave, um, Gold Dollar 66. <clears throat> it has uh, two layers of tape on it, and I went through the synthetic progression with it. Um, yeah, and I, I rehoned it after that shave because it felt that one part of the edge just felt a bit off and I had a little bit of a mixed result during that shave. So <clears throat> this is rehoned. I reset the bubble and went all the way up to 12K again. And I'll see how it works today. And <clears throat> I do need a close shave today. So if it doesn't work out too well, then I'll just um, use a DE to clean up. But I'm about one day of growth. So just a little bit to work with. And yeah, let's go over the shave really quick. Hope you guys are having a good weekend, a relaxing one. Software today, I did see that uh, Spearhead Shaving Company came out with some new software, so decided to go with uh, <clears throat> some of their products. This is the C4 C Spice Lime, wonderful scent. Um, yeah, I am um, growing more. Uh, what was it? Fond of it? At first, uh, I got a lot of a, a cologne-y, limey scent. But I think the, the cologne part is kind of blending in very well. With the lime, it's very bright, zesty, cologne-y, a little, little bit spicy, but I don't think there's much spice in here. I mean, some of that, like, old kind of scent blended in, mustiness, maybe. But um, <clears throat> I already got that lathered up. <clears throat> the usual captain's choice bowl, plenty of water, should be enough lather, and this is the uh, whip dog handle with a Umo white tip knot, basically just a, a budget badger from them, but I find it works pretty well. I actually um, thought about listing this one for sale today, but um, I've had some good experiences with it, so thought of using it. All right. Get right at it. I'm gonna wet the face and get lathered up here. Ooh. <clears throat> so, if you guys are uh, shopping at the Razor Company, check out my affiliate link below. Using that will help support the channel. <clears throat> and I appreciate people or uh, the viewers that have used that link. And purchasing helps towards um, some of the gears that I get in the future and all that good stuff. <clears throat> mm. yeah, this badger brush is very plush, <clears throat> even though it's their budget line. Um, I find it softer than <clears throat> some of the badgers I've tried out. I say compared to Sterling's best badger or finest badger, this one feels a little softer. Could be because uh, it's lofted a bit higher. I lofted this around the six or seven millimeter. Which is um, <clears throat> a little high for a badger brush. But uh, it's working out pretty well for me. Oh yeah, just a nice, luxurious... <clears throat> plush experience. Good on the cloud. Gonna need more water, so add some more here. <laughs> more water. Man, spearhead, spearhead leather is amazing. Mix it up. <clears throat> Just 
the relaxing shave of the weekend, enjoying every second of it. I think we're good to go. <laughs> Look at this. Gobs of lather just built up. <clears throat> Wonderful. <clears throat> Smelling good? Feeling good? <clears throat> this is what wet shaving is about. Relaxing and enjoying the experience and once you can get a consistent result with it, it just becomes <coughs> That much more enjoyable <coughs> Alright, Gold Dow 66 Let's uh, test this one out. See how it feels. I am hoping that it Shades better than last time. I mean last time it didn't do too bad, but <coughs> After the first pass, uh, it didn't really cut close as I'd like, so <coughs> test it out today. <coughs> Here we go, first pass with the green. Okay, it's feeling better, less Tugging sensation. Hmm. Yep, I think you're good. Even though this is the same synthetic Shapton 12K finish, because I reset the bevel and made sure the bevel was maxed out, feels a lot better today. Nice, very nice. <coughs> and even a synthetic uh, finish can feel nice, at least in my experience. Um, if I hold correctly, <coughs> make sure to max out the bevel, <coughs> making sure both sides of the bevel is meeting at the center. Um, I like it, yeah. I still prefer the natural finishes, such as my Black Arkansas or my Cauticule. I still have to experiment with that. I haven't quite grasped the, the feel of it yet. But yeah, I definitely enjoy the Arkansas Stone finishes more than my synthetic finishes. But this is still enjoyable too, just a different kind of feel. <clears throat> Oh yeah, that's a nice first pass, pretty close, still little patches by the chin, but that's just my technique because it's kind of hard to roll the street reserve along that line, but 
I'll tackle that in the second time. Yep. <coughs> <coughs> Great first pass. This is what I expected last time, but didn't get it. Just gonna palm drop it really quick. Just get some of the lather gunk off the blade. <clears throat> Rinse up both for a second. <clears throat> that this is, um, I would call this a finished razor <laughs> at this state, but I'm just gonna make it a little bit more buttery feeling with the black Arkansas. <clears throat> Once I do that, I'll test shave it with it again. And then, if I confirm that it's good, then I'll, uh, Clean it up and give it, uh, put it for a giveaway. <clears throat> so probably within next week, this razor will be up for a giveaway. <clears throat> and while I'm doing that, I'll probably hold hone up another gold dollar um, and send it up to someone else to test out. Um, yeah, just I mean, I'm <clears throat> interested in seeing how other people. <clears throat> will react to my edge because <clears throat> yeah I'm the only one person shaving with it so it would be cool to see <clears throat> what uh, other opinions are on it anyways here we go second pass across the grain <clears throat> Ears. <clears throat> Smooth sailing so far. I did feel a slight tugging in the mustache there. <clears throat> Not quite sure. What to make of it right now? <clears throat> Is it the stubborn part of the edge still giving me trouble? I don't know. It's shaving well, but it might be at like a. Maybe it's just the angle that I was going at. <clears throat> so far, so good.
very smooth. Yeah. <coughs> Now during that across the grain pass, I felt slight bite around here. Um, I think <clears throat> I can get that with the synthetic finish sometimes um, versus natural stone finish. It's usually um, just buttery smooth all the way. Oh man, I forgot to do the other side again. <clears throat> Over here. <clears throat> Feeling good across uh, against the grain. Let's finish up here. A little weird. Very A little tough against the green, but uh, just on these parts, I, I usually don't go against the green there. Okay, very nice. Pretty good. I'm just gonna do one more cross the green pass on the neck. <clears throat> we should be good to go. <clears throat> just a little bit. I might get a little bit, little bit more sting with the alum today. But a very close result. Oh yeah, that's almost BBS, I'll say. All right, let's um, <coughs> rinse up and see how it went. So far, really good shave. Um, <coughs> I like this edge. Once I put a Arkansas finish on it, it's gonna be even smoother and more enjoyable. But yeah, off the 12K synthetic, working really well. All right, palms drop it a bit. <clears throat> Enjoy the scent on the soap. Mm. Oh yeah. It's a very close cool shave. Uh, I like it. Uh, not a BBS, yeah, still a little bit across the grain here. It's kind of hard to get every single strand of hair. <clears throat> Using a straight razor, but that is a damn fine shave for sure. <clears throat> Pretty good. Got some blemishes here and there, but didn't cut anything off. Good to go. 
Add a block. Osma, add a block. <laughs> Test it out today. Yeah, a little bit of sting on the mustache. Huh. I thought I'd get a little more sting on the chin, but nothing on the chin. And wow, almost nothing on the neck either. So even though I went over the chin and the neck more than the mustache, uh, <laughs> I got a little more sting there compared to the other parts of my face. Anyways, wow, wonderful shave today. I'm glad that I'm able to touch, touch this edge up. I think um, when I was honing with this edge or honing this edge, uh, if I use the loop and really paid attention to the edge, I probably would have seen, seen an irregularity towards that uh, top half of the toe. Um, <clears throat> but um, I don't know, taking out the loop is a little bit more um, work for me. Uh, <coughs> I never got quite used to it and the loop is very, um, I mean, I can't really touch the lens and I, it has to kind of stay really pristine. Um, so I don't like taking it out and putting it any anywhere where it can collect dust or like lather or water or whatever. So I like to keep it a little bit safe away from all this stuff. So when I have to take it out, put it back, it's kind of a hassle. So I haven't been using the loop recently, but I would use it if there is, if I had a bad shave with a razor and I need to check out for any chips or any pitting or any irregularities, that's when I'll use it, kind of like a uh, problem fixer or like identifier, but most of the homing I'll just do it without the loop and just go off the feedback and kind of on my senses. So um, like the sight, how the undercut is developing on the blade, also the sensation, how it feels on my fingers as I go through the stone, and what else did I do? Undercut, and then uh, how it cuts the hair. That's another like feel thing. Because, uh, I mean, it's got to cut hair first, but if it cuts easily, when I, I put the edge there, it just slices off without me even noticing. That's what I want, uh, not like tugging sensation when I cut it. So yeah, overall, just, this honing journey has been really fun. I'm developing this new skill that I've never tried before. And uh, yeah, thanks to uh, Thomas for uh, sending me my first script razor. From there, I kind of got more interested into uh, honing that one razor and then turned to 30 other razors <laughs> off eBay and Etsy and all that stuff from other people too. But yeah, just a wonderful shave. Hope to continue this more on. All right, let's go over the shave really quick. <laughs> Thanks for listening to my TED talk. <laughs> Spearhead, uh, sea spice line, <clears throat> Umo, white tip badger, very nice with the whip dog handle. Gold Dallas 66, worked out well. I'll be putting in finish on this probably tonight or tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you guys for supporting the channel, watching, interacting. Appreciate it all. Hope you guys have a great weekend. It's Tim Shades and I'll see you guys next time. See you.